Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Vector Distortion Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and bring in a Vector Distortion Node. The Vector Distortion Node it distorts a, a main source image along its X and Y axis. And it's based on the vector data brought in from an image, supposedly. So you need vector information for this to work, but it does work without actual vector because this is just a straight RGB and there's no vector data. But we can pick our red channels, our green, our blue, and it'll still affect this image. And you can select these on your X channel and separately on your Y channel. So if we just kind of look at this node, we can see we have the options to pick our channels. We can flip our X, flip our Y. We can lock and unlock and scale them independently, or you can scale it by itself. And if you notice this node is kind of slow because it's uh, pretty heavy on the GPU, just so you know. And you can lock your bias, X and Y, and change your center of your bias. Now the edges here, whether you uh, duplicate or have it set on canvas, what that means is the canvas will cause the edges to kind of be softer and kind of uh, blurred out a little bit, whereas duplicate will uh, extend them across your entire canvas. And then your glow here will add glow. So now if we go to our vector information and we kind of zoom in on this, we can see this isn't changing anything. Absolutely nothing's being changed on this. So in order for your actual vector data to work, you're, you're going to need, uh, say, an optical flow node. Optical flow, which will uh, change this to uh, vector data. So now if we change, you can see we're using that actual vector information to change information. However, it's pretty subtle. So we're going to actually get rid of this and work without working on our vector. So what can you do with this node? Um, well, it's kind of another one of those creative nodes and you can just kind of do what you want with it. So we're going to bring in a second piece of media. So in this media, what I want to do is kind of use some of this bubbly information to uh, add some gold glitter to uh, our image there. So we can input this media as our primary source media and input this into our other channel. And now we can kind of see what's going on here. And if we go to our vector distort and start changing up our scale, we can start kind of getting the look we're looking for. And I want to kind of keep that information on her. And I'm going to switch this from duplicate to canvas to just kind of give us that weird alpha look going on. So we're going to bring in a merge node and a background. Let's get rid of this. We're going to bring this into our background and this into our foreground. And we get that look. So let's go ahead and add a little glow. It. And there we 
go. That is our look created with the vector distortion node. So have fun playing with it and watch your GPU because it's pretty intensive and I will see you in the next node breakdown.